Howdy, 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 my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Sagittarius, for August. So if you enjoy this tarot reading, give this video a like and subscribe. It's completely free to do, and it helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate those who do that, because I know y'all don't have to, Aries. And let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading helps you out. That's how I keep up with y'all. Now, today, Sagittarius, we're going to be getting into three rows for you, darling. Your first row, Saggy, we're going to be getting into the person that's on your mind right now. All right. And then in your second row, Sagittarius, we're going to be getting into what you need to hear right now. What do you all need to hear, Sagittarius? This could be a spiritual message, could be anything. All right. And then if you continue down the path that you have been going, uh, why am I wanting to call you Aries? Sagittarius, uh, I will be able to make some pretty good con uh, predictions for you. See what's going to be happening for you. The future is never solid, remember, Sagittarius. But, you know, I can get a pretty good idea if you follow in this path here. So starting out this energy here, Sagittarius, you guys have the Hierophant energy stepping forward to you. Really fabulous stuff here. All right. The Hierophant energy, it's like the masculine counterpart of the High Priestess here. All right. And so when you think about the Hierophant, it can represent marriage. All right. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I, I mean, I'm going to be honest here. I don't see marriage here necessarily uh, for you, Sagittarius. I see more so, I see more so, sub, I keep hearing substance here. All right. So for what I want to be saying, Sagittarius, it's like, I see if you get like invited out, for example, you get invited out. Let's say you like your friends invite you to a restaurant. I see something to gain from being at that restaurant, whether it's like perhaps like someone buys your meal, Sagittarius, or someone actually pursues you, wants to connect with you here. All right. I see it's like through the sense of like you start out as one thing. I heard bingo. All right. So, OK, what does that mean, spirit? Bingo. OK, I think I get it, Sagittarius. So it's like you go to bingo. By taking the action of going bingo, you end up winning bingo, and then I don't know how what, how much you usually win at bingo. Let's, but I feel like it's it's not just the sense of like five bucks, uh, Sagittarius. All right, with the hierophant energy, it's like something that makes a pretty big impact here. And so this is really going to be a week for you, Sagittarius, that I really want to stress for you to just feel things out see it through to the end here all right because there's something here it's like a hidden gem a hidden gem that's what's going to be you're going to be identifying a hidden gem because i'm being shown an easter egg now so you know when people put like easter eggs in like movies and games and stuff like that sagittarius you're going to be discovering an easter egg in whatever way that looks like in your life here and due to the second row here i'm pretty confident about what's going to be happening here so let's get started here sagittarius remember this hierophant energy is going to be influencing all three of these rows darling all right, let's get uh, on to the person that's on your mind right now, Saji. You have here the Four of Candles, the Justice Energy, with the Knight of Potions for you, darling. Potions. Okay, here, uh, Sagittarius. All right, full disclosure, the Four of Wands also represents marriage. Maybe someone around you is going to be getting married, Sagittarius. Or, you know what? take out the marriage aspect because not everything's about romance it could be like this sense here of like solidifying certain connections that's what i'm hearing solidifying certain connections you may be noticing this week uh for you sagittarius of where like connections that you may have been distant from for a while here like i feel like certain events are going to be happening that bring you two closer together here all right justice energy yeah especially with that justice energy the scales of of uh, the scales coming into balance here. Knight of Cups coming in here. I even want to be saying the person that's on your mind right now, be expecting some type of communication from them. I feel like they have something to offer. They have something to offer to you, Sagittarius. They have something to say to you here. And expect, especially because, again, spoiler alert, darling, what you need to hear right now, you have this three cups here, which talks about celebration here. All right. Maybe like a friend or family member might have like an exciting like announcement of like pregnancy, marriage here. Um... But I feel like that would be 25% of you. I feel like this 75% of you, Sagittarius, is, this is really about like some person coming forward to you, Sagittarius, with like an offer with like, let's see what this is, right? Let's see what this is. What is this person that's on your mind right now, Sagittarius? Like, what do they want to speak about here? Let's do one bridge uh, shuffle here and then we'll pull the cards, darling. Ooh. Girl, I'm noticing one of these cards are <laughs> flipped over. Hold on. Oh, a couple cards. How did that happen? Uh-uh. A few cards. Sagittarius, I am a slob, apparently, and I can't even grab my cards. I'm sorry. This is like my OCD coming out, Saggy, so <laughs> I can't handle my cards not being proper. 
All right, two of candles, two of wands here. Definitely, definitely, definitely here, Sagittarius. The, whoever is on your mind right now, they're about to be coming forward with something with some type of big term plan. Might be moving for some of you guys here. If you have been putting an application somewhere, if you put in an application for a job, school, or something like that, you're going to be hearing back from them for sure, Sagittarius. All right, the two of wands can represent contracts as well. And so let's go back to what I was saying beforehand for you, Sagittarius, where I was saying it's just like, by you going out, right? I use that bingo example where it's just like, by you going to bingo you end up winning like a life-changing amount there that really changes things up for you in this case here Sagittarius it's like whatever they come forward to you with it's like an offer you can't resist it's like this sense of where what they come forward to you it's such a I don't know I like this a lot though I'm really actually excited for you the world card and this is like the end. The world card is the final card in the major arcana, Sagittarius, the closing of one cycle to begin something new. I mean, I keep on saying I don't get married. Like, I didn't necessarily see marriage here, but this is literally like a dynamic of how you would see like marriage coming in here or like a dynamic of where it's just like you're changing like by whatever this person comes forward with it. It closes off a cycle and it begins a new journey for you. Right. So, for example, if you audition somewhere, and you've been waiting to hear back from this person they come forward with you with a job opportunity that changes things for you for some of you uh sagittarius especially those that are interested in like more of the creative arts i hear like singing dancing uh modeling especially that kept on coming to mind sagittarius you might be getting scouted by you like deciding to like walk down the sidewalk right someone takes a pic takes your picture changes your life afterwards right it's always like that's the consistent um impressions that i'm getting and page of pentacles popping out now sagittarius page of pentacles has been popping out for all the zodiac signs no matter what deck i'm using because i got a lot of them they've been popping out for every zodiac sign every 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 zodiac sign especially aries actually now that i'm thinking about it so if you do have aries in your chart check them out or you might this might be dealing with an aries the person that comes forward with the opportunity anyways though that's just as a side note page of pentacles page of presence this is pages talks about bringing forth news to you sagittarius good news this is exactly what you want all right someone's going to be coming in with an offer you can't deny that changes your life that really gets things uh going for you here i see for many of you guys here this is like a new career opportunity for others of you it could be just like a opportunity to like live you know move with a friend go travel or something like that all right it's going to be very different for all of you sagittarius here but i easily could see the sense of just like moving in all right i could see business deals i can see like whatever the case is it's like receiving forth communication because even page of Pentacles represents someone extending out their pentacle to you. Sagittarius is like receiving that pentacle changes everything with that contract. Like it's really, I can't stress it enough about how impactful this is. Like whoever is on your mind right now, you're definitely going to be hearing from them. And with some type of offer, they're coming forward with an offer that you just can't deny, I feel. All right. So that's what I got on that Sagittarius. Don't mind me. I'm taking a timestamp and let's get into uh what you need to hear right now you have the three of potions the four of swords here and the wheel of fortune this is why i'm like really excited for you area <laughs> there's that aries sagittarius i know i'm reading for you sagittarius it's just like i have 12 children all 12 of my children sometimes you just mess up some of the names all right <laughs> my parents understand <laughs> um i'm not that tarot reader that's gonna be like oh it could just be i mean i guess i did kind of say that but that's fully just a mistake here. I think it's just full mistake. The only reason why I said about the Aries is because of this. I'm noticing this consistency with the page of pentacles for both you and Aries. I got that. But yeah, so three of cups here, wheel of fortune, and then the four swords. This is why I'm so excited for you, Sagittarius, because it's like the three of cups talks about, so by definition, talks about celebration, victory, really happy with what's happening to you. You're about, there's going to be a reason, a cause for celebration, essentially, here. All right, Sagittarius? Then you have this Wheel of Fortune that came out for you. This Wheel of Fortune could be turning in your favor or against your favor, all right? So if you've been having a bad streak of luck or what have you here, like whatever happens to you in the coming days, Sagittarius, that's like, you'll notice how it's just like, you're constantly getting all the cards that talk about like the ending of a phase through receiving this good news, through receiving this new energy here. It's like closing out. So if you've been going through like financial distress, if you've been in like living in a toxic situation, stuff like that, it's coming to an end here all right the wheel of fortune is starting to turn in your favor here and it's going to bring forth healing four swords energy that that's a card of meditation healing taking time 
all right and so it's just like you're finally able to breathe again through the um coming events that really just i get again i get this sense of where it's just like it changes the trajectory of your life in some facet i feel as if for you some of you sagittarius it could just be a living situation for others of you it could be very much so for many of you guys i feel like it's something financially involved there i really do so um but get ready here, Sagittarius. It's like spirit is acknowledging how you, you probably have even asked Sagittarius. You're just like, spirit, can I catch a break? Universe, can you just give, toss me a bone, darling, toss me a bone. And they're tossing that bone to you for sure. All right, so let's get into your Oracle cards, Saji. Mm -hmm. You have connectivity, jeweled web, number five in numerology, Aries, by the way, I know you, you're all probably tired of hearing about it, <laughs> Sagittarius, but Aries also got number five in numerology. So again, if you have something in your chart with Aries and it, check it out but jeweled web connectivity here for you all right a lot of moving parts here all right a lot of moving parts for you sagittarius things are going to start finally coming together and bring a lot of clarity i just noticed i have some lotion under my nails that's like the one bad thing when it comes to having nails sagittarius is like when you lotion your face in the morning it just is and it's gonna bother me too anyways it's nothing it's i promise you it's lotion <laughs> but <laughs> sagittarius i feel like things are all the pieces are finally going to start connecting and coming together here so for many of you guys maybe you have been putting in a lot of work with like putting yourself on a routine working out eating right right it's a it's through a collective effort um do it's through a collective effort of doing a lot of small things for the mutual goal of like feeling attractive about yourself getting educated like whatever it is Sagittarius it's about to be paying off big time like all the dots are finally going to start connecting and bringing forth um a lot of just I hear completion. I hear this sense of like being able to finally relax, being able to finally breathe. Great big love. Great big love here, Sagittarius. All right. This is going to be a very specific message. All right. This is not, this is going to be very specific for my Sagittarius's that have been trying to manifest love in their life here. All right. This is not for a Sagittarius that's like giving up on love or a Sagittarius that just got out of, this is someone I'm speaking to my Sagittarius's right now that have been really drilling into the universe asking your spiritual team being like spirit can you send forth like <laughs> my soulmate if you align with that my twin flame you, you i feel like for you and i don't even feel like it's just romance i feel like you have been craving just having like a partner in crime because i feel like for some of you guys maybe you recently lost like a best friend i don't want to say like death but i mean like maybe distance or just you know what have you here i feel like your path is going to be aligning you with like your next uh christina to your meredith gray right if you watch Grey's anatomy it's right it's the, you like your person here all right i know it says great big love but and i say it's going to be very specific for my sagittarius that are trying to manifest love i see like love coming in but it's only through you having putting in the work of like being like all right i want love but i'm not ready for it i need to work out i need to feel better about myself it's that's what i'm talking about with this that's why i say it's just like this is not going to be like a, this is not a love prediction for my sagittarius for those that haven't been putting their mind into that this is just strictly letting you know like whoever's been putting in that work of bringing forth solid connections it's about to be happening it's about to be paying off all right so don't just take that and be like oh my gosh this is just another cheesy love it's really not it's really not all right so sagittarius you have here the full moon in libra full moon in libra all right uh finding a balance what are we finding a balance about <clears throat> knight of wands here in the hermit finding a balance between <laughs> <laughs> that's actually interesting here <laughs> i'll explain this the knight of wands is someone that likes to go out and the hermit card is someone that likes to just stay inside here so it's kind of funny it's like finding that balance sagittarius of like learning how to just knowing when to leave your hole <laughs> learning when to uh, put yourself out there and learning when to hold back a little bit. I feel like for some of you Sagittarius, your biggest problem has been is where it's just like when a connection first comes forward or when something starts happening, you might get a little bit overexcited and then like being extremely hopeful like you see like you see you meet somebody and you're just like oh this is going to be we're going to have a happy life together you're already planning the marriage you're already planning the colors to what your wedding's going to be all right and then it leads to disappointment here um i feel like for you the reason why it's important sagittarius to find that balance is because if you still continue on in this pattern of just like drasticness i feel like spirit's going to continue 
um, repeating the cycle until you learn the lesson of being like, all right, let's find a find a balance between uh, going out and drinking and let's find a balance between just staying inside and just what have you. I feel like for many of you Sagittarius is here, you guys are like where you're maturing is just this sense of like you're not initially reacting. It's like someone tells you some good news, you're just, you'll be happy, but you'll just sit there and be like, all right, what's next though? It's like, you're waiting for the ball to drop. Like you guys are really maturing in that way. And I like that for you. I feel like for you, many of you Sagittarius is, it's like after you did this, you, some of you guys maybe did something that was like potentially like manic, right? Maybe you like did like a drastic road trip or something like that um, when you were younger here. I don't know. I'm getting like a, this is turning into a channel of message on Sagittarius, but I get like this specific message for some of you guys of where it's just like you haven't felt like you have been you have been able to be young again for a while. And I don't care what your age is, but you haven't felt as if you have you've been able to just like relax. Like maybe you've always just been in this place of like used to having to always hustle and struggle here. Um, I feel like the period that you have, I'm sorry, there's like a giant plane going by. I feel like um, for many of you Sagittarius this year, you took like an extended period of where you were just trying to survive, all right? And that period of trying to survive is going to be coming to an end with the opportunity for you to rest and relax, all right? And I really feel like it's important for you Sagittarius is to learn to not to go drastic one way or the other way, all right? All right, because I feel like some of you guys are just going through that lesson or finally finishing up that lesson, Sagittarius, and be like, all right, let's find a balance between acting crazy and doing crazy things and also finding a balance between, all right, let's not stay in our house for a month on end, all right? So let's get into your predictions here, Sagittarius, all right? You have here the Nine of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, as well as the Magician card coming in here, all right? I see for many of you guys, Sagittarius, you guys are just having general anxiety about if things will work out, all right? Um, I hear like this sense of like some of you guys are bit, have been like paralyzed by fear for a while here, but the magician card is the card of experimentation. The magician card is the one that's taking control and trying to find an approach that works here. All right. And what I want to be saying for you, Sagittarius, is, is that I see some facet of your life really, really becoming malleable, really becoming is you're going to be having like this new sense of freedom. Like maybe you're going to be having like a lot of free time in the coming days here that will allow you to explore things like explore past hobbies or something like that. Sagittarius. I also feel like for some of you guys here, I don't know why I keep on getting like this reference of like something that you wanted to do or did in the past and now becoming relevant for your future in the coming days here. But I feel like it's all positive. I don't feel like it's people. I feel like it's like something that you wanted to do. Maybe some of you guys wanted to do a cruise or a trip. This, that's what I'm getting. Like I've never, like I'm struggling finding the words for this Sagittarius because it's very channeled. Like I've never gotten messages like this, but I feel like there's something that you wanted to do in the past that maybe you tried to do, or maybe you did. And then afterwards, there's just like been like a long period of where you just have been hustling and surviving. All right. I feel like what you did in the past or what you wanted to do is coming back in and it's going to feel like a lot more of reality of being able to like actually do it now in the coming days here is what I hear. All right. So <laughs> Sagittarius, I hope this reading made sense to you because this is like when it comes to these types of readings where it's a lot of it's channeled and not as much uh, tarot. Sometimes like mentally, my head is just like one place. And my mouth is just saying things that just may not even make sense. So I apologize if I just sound a little bit all over the place because it's just like I'm trying to get all the messages out that I keep on hearing. So I love you so much, Sagittarius. Hopefully this gave you some clarity, darling. All right. Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. Remember, Sagittarius, book a reading with me on my website only. Simply Vulcan. Dot com next to my social medias tiktok instagram and facebook all of them just being simply velka all right sagittarius so i love you so much darling and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future all right and i apologize again sagittarius for calling you guys aries a few times all right bye darling